There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore While you're on the open sea Cannot take this anymore We are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full-time on our new home, Sisu. It was, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. This big dude is busy lifting his anchor. And you can see the bow thrusters is coming up all the time. This guy has a paddle board. <laughs> Look, he's paddling with his fish net and everything. We are starting a new journey. Is it a new journey? Yeah, well, I, mean, I, I just said I we, we lifted anchor and we are going. going to Blue are... waters and white beaches and palm trees and <laughs> but first we're gonna stop in black beaches. <laughs> yeah, volcanic. <Or> <laughs> I can't wait. We left it at seven o'clock this morning. We left it anchor and we are three days and ten hours from Lanzarote. Are we going in a straight line at this point in time with the winds? No jiving, no tacking. No, nothing so far. Ah. Let's hope it remains this way. <laughs> There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices is hand steering it's crazy it is the waves and the wind is just crazy we've got the Cody and the Genoa wing on wing it was not predicted by the predict wing to actually have like this crazy wind the highest was 20 knots Two. 22 yeah, 22 but yeah so we are now sitting at 26 something like that knots. 27. Width. Yeah, 27 knots. Race 
Isso. <laughs> this poor autopilot doesn't know what it's doing. So I have to like kind of like see and all of these lights are not working. <laughs> Just to bring you playable footage. <laughs> yeah, everybody asks, why don't you have a camera ready? When yeah, it's a go crisis, go go. When it's a crisis, you don't think about a camera. No, you don't. It's a crisis. It's a crisis. <laughs> I think many people think there's not on a production catamaran and there's not uh, feedback. I do feel the feedback and I know when it is a, a calm one or like now, a heavy one. It's like almost like direct steering on a car. Yes, it's like yeah. direct steering. It yeah. is actually direct, direct steering. steering. <laughs> <laughs> okay, concentrate. Not talking. So Pietro went to bed um, and I'm packing over the first shift. Sort of first shift. It's not over yet. We still have 19. We have to wind that was predicted <laughs> um, and this is manageable by the autopilot everything is good and the control we are surfing most of the time which is an uh, advantage of a, of a longer hull if the hull is longer then you can surf flat much longer on the waves and, um, and this is what Sisu is doing at this moment so we're doing 10, 11 knots 10 knots and then every now and then we, the wave slips underneath us and we need to reset and we start again. We had winds up to 25, 26 knots, um, which was not nice. It is nice if we know about it. <laughs> then we can prepare and we have the right sails and the right reefs and stuff like that. But Peter was not prepared for that. So hand steering made that our apparent wind stayed below um, 16 knots. So we were we were quite comfortable now. Like now the apparent wind is 12 knots, which is good. Um, as long as we we keep on surfing and we just keep the bows down the waves, we are actually quite okay. So for the people that say we need to use the infrared camera. It has night mode like this one and show us or show you guys how the sea state looks like. So let me show you guys. You can see nothing. So you can see it's working. But look, you cannot even see the sails. The sails is there. You cannot see it. Now I'm pointing at the sea. So this is the house station and I'm pointing at the sea. That's the station and the sea is next to it. <laughs> so you cannot, even this infrared camera cannot see water or something I'm not sure why but yeah it is what it is it was a tough tough evening and I think we can all use a serious rest we have a couple of hand steering sessions because the autopilot did not or could not manage And as you can see, the wind is so, so crazy. Here is, here is some statistics. So our average speed, that is how much we've done since 11 o'clock last night. And it is now 
it's now 8 o'clock. So, the last 9 hours we've done that. Um, and then the wind, true wind speed at one point was 31 knots. So it was, <laughs> it was crazy, crazy, crazy. And the saga is continuing. So we, we're doing quite okay, but the wind, it just picked up again. And we're still not there yet. And I promised us the wind will be less by now, far, far less. Actually, 2 o'clock this morning was supposed to be far less. Not sure if you guys experience the same thing, but the Iridium network is not up to scratch lately. Okay, for the last, I would say, almost four months, we, we're losing connection, we're losing signal strength, we're losing it all the time. And I know they're working together with, with SpaceX um, to, load, to launch the Iridium Next network and it's something like a five billion dollar network already up in the, in the sky. Uh, I think the common thing is Starlink or something like that but it's not sure whether the Iridium is neglecting the current services who paid for the five billion. But we tried to download now for almost three hours and it just doesn't want to download. Um, it's now the signal strength is five and it's connected. So it's it seems to be everything seems to be okay and then every now and then it just not every now and then almost I I think while I'm talking to it will actually drop. Yes, and now they're sailing vessel next to us and it seems like 14 by 4 meter which means it's definitely a mono and that mono is doing also quite nice speed 8.9 because he's also sailing and surfing like we do That was a long surf. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Pietro is the best, Jack. Even in a storm or in a very big blow, we're getting nice wraps and coffee and lots of, all sorts of nice things while we're going crazy. <laughs> Ah, she's a good girl. We done, downloaded the new weather thing. If you look here, this is the latest one, latest and greatest from our Iridium satellites and predict wind. And we're very close to Lanzarote, so that's good. But let's see. Here's the graphs. And it shows exactly the same, not exactly the same as yesterday, but it's also going down, 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 down. Promises, promises, promises. Last night when we checked, it went down from 20 all the way there. And now they still say we should be at 17.5. And the other one says maybe 18. So this is what we're currently doing. So that's true wind in speed the wind direction is pretty consistent looks like okay so wind this is the apparent wind angle height oh it's going to pick up a little bit more and then starts to drop so they say it's about four meters and it is definitely not four meters <laughs> but there is a big swell also uh, wave direction coming from the north no there is a very big swell coming more from northeast. So, but we are interested. We are interested in a yellow and green. These red and blue ones are predict wind ones, and I've never seen them to be correct. So the yellow one is the European model, and the green one is the GFS, the American model. <coughs> so. 
it looks like we will sell the waves is going to pick up the swells mm. uh, and only 10 o'clock tonight it will start dropping ah wave period yeah i can do with the long ones the long mm. ones is better these short ones and they're not they're not 15 seconds are they they're very fast on us but yeah, we can't serve around 15 seconds. We serve around 10 seconds. Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid Dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore I'm going to try my best, but I'm here at the most and I am actually afraid of heights, so I don't watch down too many often. And the reason why I'm not here is our deck light is completely loose. There's a boat with a huge bow spread, a wooden bow spread poking at us. Here is a very good big boat. There is a Leopard 48. So I had to come in there, do a UE there in front of that one, uh, try to miss this boat, and I also got the bow spread here. So <laughs> also I had to make sure that we don't hit that guy. And now we tie it on here without any assistance of a dinghy just one guy on shore this was one crazy dog just look at this it is really very very tight There is really slow room for <laughs> for error. <laughs> it is. But we're now getting ready for a beer. We <laughs> we we ran out of alcohol. You oh, cannot okay. say that. We cannot <laughs> run out of. <laughs> we never thought it would be possible, but we did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we so. had other priorities. And guess what? We are next to a coffee shop, not a beer place. <laughs> it's not going to work for us. <laughs> and look what I'm smoking. Not yet Caribbean, but it is something I'm going to do very soon. <laughs> 